What's going on everybody? It's your boy Kepo. I'm back again. What's up? Today, we're going to try the Angriest Whopper from Burger King. Now, I've been seeing uh, um, ads for this everywhere on YouTube, TV, everywhere. And they claim this sandwich is really, 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 really hot. <laughs> I haven't tried like a hot sandwich from Burger King in years. Like I remember uh, when I was a kid, my dad used to take me to Burger King and we would get the, uh, I don't know if y'all remember the spicy tender crisp. It's like this spicy version of their tender crisp um, chicken sandwich. It was so good. Now I think they had like an angry tender crisp at one point with jalapenos and stuff and like, the only thing about that sandwich was my stomach was gone in the morning. Like I was dead. Yeah. So let's get into it. Also, um, I found some surge. Now, all the 90s kids, we all we all know what this is. I didn't I don't think I actually drank this um in the 90s when I was younger, but I remember seeing it and I, I saw this at the, a store last night. So I was like, I need to grab some of this. I never had it, but apparently it's citrus flavored soda. So is it like Sprite? I don't know. You guys tell me. Tell me in the comments if you ever had Surge and what it, if it tastes good or not to you. Oh, some background for the Angriest Whopper. So apparently the Angriest Whopper has jalapeno peppers, angry sauce, whatever that is, angry onions, I guess it's hot onions, mayonnaise, red seeds, bun. Well, I'm gonna show you guys in a minute, but apparently they baked like hot sauce into the bun. That's why the bun is like supposed to be red or whatever. It has the beef patty, American cheese, tomatoes, lettuce, and bacon. <laughs> Those last like four or five ingredients were like completely normal. The rest were like extreme. All right, here we go. Doo, 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 doo. Oh my god. This burger is actually red. Y'all see this? It's actually red. Look at this. This is kind of scary, man. I don't know if I trust this. This burger is actually red. Like, look at the bun, man. Y'all ever seen SpongeBob where they had the colorful, like, Krabby Patties? This, that's exactly what this looks like. Yes, sir. We sell pretty patties. That thing's green. <laughs> This is insane, like what the heck? Okay y'all, so you heard the ingredients in the burger, you see how red it is. Wait, let me, get this. Let me taste this Surge first. First time trying Surge on camera, I'm gonna give y'all a quick review. What? This don't taste like anything, are you kidding me? Why were we excited about this when we were kids? Kinda tastes like a it doesn't taste like anything. It tastes like a flat Sprite. There's no nostalgia here. It's just, the can looks cool. I don't know. I also forgot to tell y'all, apparently this burger is 800. Wait, let me get this exactly right. So according to Burger King, this sandwich is 830 calories. That's insane. Oh my God, this looks crazy, man. Look at this, this looks crazy. Like, you see this? This bun is red, like, what the heck? I feel like this Halloween or something. Mmm. Hmm. Mmm. Hmm. Hmm. This is actually really good. It tastes kind of sweet. The, the sauce, the angry sauce is kind of sweet, kind of tangy. Wow, this is actually really good. Are you kidding me? This is not hot, man. Where's the heat? It must like kick in after the fact. Let's see. Hmm. Wow. I mean, it's not that hot. I've tasted it hotter. That spicy tuna crisp was hotter than this. The jalapenos on here are really good. I'm starting to think they lied about the bun. It's, it's supposed to be infused with hot sauce. So this is supposed to be like, hot sauce baked into the bun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this by itself, hold on. Okay, let's try it. That tastes like nothing. That tastes like a bun that was dyed red. I mean, there's no hot, there's no heat. Are you kidding me? I don't taste anything. How is that hot sauce? <laughs> they lied, they had to lie, or I don't know what they were doing. It this burger is good though, but it's not hot. I'm low key disappointed, y'all. I might have to turn this into a vlog now because I was expecting more to come from this. It's not hot at all. I mean, maybe I just have strong taste buds or something. I do have a high tolerance to heat, but I, I, I really don't, I honestly don't taste. It tastes more sweet than hot to me. They put onion rings on here too, man. 
Mm. Literally, the only thing I taste that's hot on a sandwich is like the jalapeno peppers. Obviously, like they, they they're obviously going to be hot. Nothing else about the sandwich is hot to me. Like the sauce isn't hot. The bun is definitely not hot. It just tastes like a normal bun. Man, I'm disappointed, y'all. I thought this was gonna be like more intense than that. I don't see a point in eating this whole sandwich on camera now. At this point, I'm just enjoying the sandwich. <laughs> it's not hot, man. This is absolutely delicious, so I'm not gonna lie. So I'm just gonna give my review now because I don't think nothing, anything else is gonna come from this sandwich. But basically, so on a scale of one to 10 hot, I'll give this sandwich a three, honestly. This is not hot to me at all. I mean, the jalapeno peppers are hot. The sauce isn't hot. The bun isn't hot. Wait, let me try the bun one more time. This is supposed to be infused with hot sauce baked, hot sauce baked into the bun. I feel like that's a hoax because I don't taste anything in this. It's not hot. I can eat this bun with any type of sandwich and not feel any flame from it. But anyways, yeah, I get this a three out of 10 on a hot scale. Kind of disappointed. I'm disappointed in the heat factor of it because it's advertised as something like hot, but it actually tastes really great. Like the onion, they have like onion rings or whatever it is on here, bacon, jalapeno peppers, the sauce. The uh, angry sauce is really good. It's like kind of sweet and tangy. Yeah, so uh, that's my disappointing review. T on a, uh, okay, on a, for the tasty scale, one out of 10, I'll give it an eight. It's really delicious. Three out of 10 on the hot scale. So if you just want a good sandwich and you want a little spicy, and when I say little, I mean a little spiciness to it, I think you should get this sandwich. But if you're looking for heat, I would, I would, I would skip past this. It's not hot. It's good, it's good if you want to eat. But if you're looking for heat, Hey, if y'all like this video, or if you're disappointed by this, or you want me to try a hotter sandwich, give this a thumbs up. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, some more hot hot stuff I can try because I'll, I'll go get it. Don't worry. Like, I'm trying to be challenged, man. This didn't challenge me. Apparently, uh, Wendy's has a hot chicken sandwich, so I'm going to go try that uh, next time we do this. Let me know if y'all tried this sandwich too, and let me know if you felt the same way or if you actually thought it was hot. I don't know. Maybe the people here don't know how to make it. <laughs> I don't know, but let me know in the comments what you think about this sandwich and if you had surge before Let me know what you think about it. It doesn't really taste like anything to me. I mean it tastes like a dead uh, Energy drink. It's just like it doesn't it's so flat. It's crazy. Wow. This is 200 calories and my sandwich is 800. I just ate I just Consumed like a thousand calories. See y'all on the next video man. Deuce deuce. We out Self-welfare.